Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve sum based on registration under GST, also known as goods and service tax, uh, under the subject indirect tax. Very important topic for all the TY BFM Sen6 students. In this, we will be first noting down the rules uh, in order to, you know, whether a person is liable to register or not, what are the rules, uh, you know, having uh, you know, over on that. And after that, we'll be taking a few sums to see how you can solve uh, the sum based on registration. So let us see how you can solve sum based on registration under GST. Now, before starting the sum, there are some rules that we need to note down. The very first thing that we need to understand is the limit for registration or what is the threshold limit for the registration. Now, uh, for registration purposes, uh, you know, there are different categories of states that we need to learn about okay so basically there are the states have been divided into three uh, categories number one state with a threshold limit of rupees 10 lakhs for both goods and services okay so in that particular category we have four states manipur mizoram nagaland and tripura okay if uh, the sum of the question is based on you know the supplier who is residing in one, any of these four states then the threshold limit is 10 lakhs for goods and services so keep in mind MMNT, okay, so these are the, like the four abbreviated words, MMNT that you need to remember, Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura. If uh, you are from, if the supply is from the state of Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Sikkim, Uttarakhand, Pondicherry and Telangana, then the state uh, has a threshold limit of rupees 20 lakhs for both goods and services. So the rule is, if you are from MMNT state, 10 lakhs. If you're from Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Sikkim, Uttarakhand, Pradicherry, and Telangana, 20 lakhs uh, is your threshold limit. And for the rest of India, okay, that is Jammu Kashmir, Assam, Himachal Pradesh, and all other states, okay, other than the first two categories, uh, the threshold limit is rupees 20 lakhs for services and 40 lakhs for only goods if you're only dealing in goods. And if you're dealing in goods and services both, then the threshold limit is 20 lakhs. Okay, so this is a major threshold limit rule that we have to remember. So number one, if you're from MMNT states, so that will be based on 10 lakhs. Okay, if you're from Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Sikkim, Uttarakhand, Pondicherry, Telangana, 20 lakhs is the limit. And for rest of India, if you're only dealing in uh, service, it is 20 lakhs. If you're only dealing in goods, it is 40 lakhs. And if you're dealing in both, again, it is 20 lakhs. Okay, that is it. This is the only threshold limit that you all need to remember. After that, it's given that a person will be required to register if the aggregate turnover exceeds this threshold limit. So once it goes beyond the numbers, okay, the, the limit which we learn, only if the supply, the aggregate turnover uh, exceeds this particular amount, only then the person will be, you know, required to register under GST. Okay, so this is a very important rule that you all need to note down. Next, person not liable for registration, number one. Person exclusively engaged in the business of supplying goods and services that are not liable to tax. So no tax goods are there. So on that GST registration not compulsive. Person exclusively engaged in business of supplying goods service that are wholly exempt from tax. So if you are exempted goods, again or exempted service, no need of registering. And last, agriculturists to the extent of supply of produce out of cultivation of land. Anything which is in raw material, agricultural produce, which is in raw form, okay, on that GST registration is not compulsory. Okay, so, person who are not liable for registration, you all can note down these three points. Next, compulsory registration. Person making interstate taxable supply. So if there are people who has, you know, from one state and supplying goods to another state, then compulsory will have to register no matter whatever it will be your limit. Casual taxable person making taxable supply. Okay, a, a taxable casual taxable person means is a person who occasionally undertakes transaction involving supply of goods and services or both. Okay, so if you are a casual taxable person who, you know, sell taxable stuff, so in that case, you'll have to compulsory register. A non-resident taxable person making taxable supply. So, you know, if an NRI makes a taxable supply, he has to register. And person who are required to pay under reserve, uh, sorry, under reverse charge. So, those who have registered under reverse charge, they have to compulsorily register under GST. No matter whatever is the value of supply of goods or whatever is the aggregate turnover. 
okay for compulsory registration these are the four points that you need to keep in mind okay so, so that's it these are the only rules that you have to remember 20 lakhs for the first category sorry 10 lakhs for the first category 20 lakhs for the second and third it is 20 and 40 depending on whether it is good service or both okay now let us see how to solve the very first type of sum under calculation of registration under GST Okay, now the quest will read out a question once and then we'll try to understand how we need to solve this ahead. Uh, Meza Sate Brothers provides the detail of transaction of the business from the state of Maharashtra during the month of October 2018. Are they liable to get registered under GST? If yes, then from when? They are giving you different dates. Okay, so always remember whenever such kind of sum comes, first always check from which state he is in the state of Maharashtra. Okay, check like next whether it is only goods or service or both. I can see there are goods supplied and also services provided. So it's goods and services. Okay, so remember state of Maharashtra when goods and services are given the threshold limit is 20 lakhs. Okay, if it goes beyond that you have to register under GST. Okay, only supply. Now always remember aggregate turnover means only supply. No purchases can be included in the calculation. Now, let us see how to solve this sum. Okay, the columns that will be required will be date. You know, we'll have date, we'll have particulars, we'll have the amount and I need one more extra column called as cumulative amount because then that, that column will come to know exactly uh, when did, you know, the, uh, the aggregate turnover surplus, you know, surpass the threshold limit. Okay, so one by one we'll start now. First, on 8th October, goods supplied to Nandir. The moment you are supplying, it comes under aggregate turnover. Yes, so we will note down that. So, date particulars may be note down that transaction amount was 3,17,500. Second, on 10th October, again, there is a supply. It doesn't matter whether it is exempted, tax-free, taxable. If you are supplying, you need to add it. So, exempt supply to Surat, yes. So, date, name and the transaction value. Third is on 17th October, taxable goods supplied to Ravi. Again, you are supplying goods. It will be considered amount is 11,50,000. Next is on 19th October, inward supply. Now, inward supply means purchases. Purchases cannot be taken into consideration to find the total aggregate turnover. We will have to ignore it. So, we ignore it. 20th, again, you are supplying something. We will consider that. 20th October, goods supplied to Nandurbar. Amount is 350. And last... 25th NQ, again services provided, your providing service will be considered. Okay, to Shangli, we note down the value is 1,75,000. Very simple, only uh, anything whatever you are supplying, we just use those, we just add it, we just take those things into consideration. Now we need to find the cumulative, cumulative meaning first number will be as it is, 3,17,500. Now add this to the next value, okay, so it will be 3,17,000. Plus 2 lakh 10,000. Okay, so I'll just put an arrow. It is this. So you need to add this and you need to bring the value here. So 3 lakh 17, 500 plus 2 lakh 10 will give you 5 lakh 27, 500 plus 11 lakh 50,000 gives you 16, 77, 500 plus 350 gives you 2027, 500. And lastly, when you add 1 lakh 75,000, you will get 22 lakh 2,500. Just a cumulative total. Once you come to this point, now it is the most simplest part. Just check now, since he was in the state of Maharashtra, he is supplying goods and services both. So the threshold limit is supposed to be 20 lakhs. Now, when we added up the in cumulative, we saw that, um, you know, the supply, the aggregate turnover is getting over 20 lakhs in this particular cell. Okay. And the date corresponding to this cell is on 20th October. Okay. So, Sate Brothers aggregate turnover has actually exceeded the threshold limit. So the moment it gets exceeded, he has to register under GST. So see our final statement. Sate Brothers aggregate turnover exceeded the threshold limit of 20 lakhs. Therefore, they are liable to register under GST from 20th October 2018. Okay, just the date when it goes beyond, you know, the date where it has exceeded the threshold limit, that date will become the date on which the registration has to, you know, he has to register under GST. Secondly, that is the update on which his threshold limit has surpassed. Okay, this is it. 
this is all what you'll have to do in order to solve the sum based on registration under GST so this is one type of sum uh, which usually come okay the question okay now we will take up another type of question which usually comes which is a little different than the current question okay so this was sum number one I hope everyone have understood that we'll start with question number two now if you look carefully the question is a little different than the previous okay so sergeant started the business in April 2001 from which month he will be liable for registration as per the provision of GST Act give reason they are giving you the various months purchases where they are giving you taxable tax free sales may taxable and tax free now remember one thing in order to get the threshold limit we need aggregate turnover that is nothing but the totals of sales so purchases are not included at all so these are the first two columns are just dummy okay not required it won't be appearing in our solution so what will appear will be only in the months uh, the taxable sale and tax free sales okay now before solving always check which state now they haven't given us any detail relating to state so if nothing is mentioned we have to assume it's from the other category that is the general category that is the last category where the threshold limit is 20 lakhs for service 40 for goods and if it's goods and services then again 20 lakhs now in such kind of sum now here they have not mentioned whether it is goods or service always remember whenever you get such kind of sum where you have purchased sale taxable tax free given it is always to be assumed that it is supply of goods only okay since it is the supply of goods only the threshold limit will be 40 lakhs for other category states since there is no state mentioned we have to assume it is other category okay since it's not mentioned goods and services we will have to assume it is supposed to be purely based on goods so the threshold limit is going to be 40 lakhs so now let us see how what columns will be required here okay columns may I'll need months sales can under taxable sale tax free sale and total sale that is nothing but the addition of taxable and tax free and then I will need another class column that will be cumulative in order to find out where did that actual turnover exceed that threshold limit okay chalo now since all of them are there is nothing to mention it's all sale taxable and tax free so we'll note on the months we'll note on the taxable sale value tax free value and find the total of each and every sale Hello. So for the month of April to June, your taxable sale was seven and a half lakh and nineteen lakhs, which comes to total twenty six lakhs fifty thousand. For the month of July, it was seven and seven sixty, so total fourteen lakh sixty. For the next, it was one lakh and six lakh fifty, so it became seven lakh fifty. For next, it was four lakhs and two lakh eighty, so it came to six eighty. Next is a two point five and seven point five, so that came to ten lakhs. For November four and a half and three lakh twenty six thousand, so that became three lakh thirty thousand five hundred. And last uh, seven thousand and eighty four thousand, that comes to ninety one thousand. Okay, we noted on taxable, tax free, and got the total under the total sales column. Now the next is very simple. We need to find cumulative total. So we take the first value as it is. And we add it to the subsequent next value. So 26 lakh 50 plus 14 lakh 60 will give you 41 lakh 40 uh, 10,000. Plus 7 lakh 50 will give you 48 lakh 60. Plus 6 lakh 80,000 gives you 54 lakh 40,000. 55 40. Plus 10 lakhs will give you 65 40. Plus 3 lakh 3500 will give you 68 lakh 70,500. Plus 91,000 will give you 69 lakh 61,500. Now, the aggregate uh, or the cumulative turnover has been noted down. Now, our rule. Other state, uh, only goods, threshold limit is 40 lakhs. So, we have to see where that, that 40 lakh or uh, where that, that turnover exceed 40 lakhs. So, if you look carefully, in the very second, in the very second cell, it has already exceeded 40 lakhs. And the month where it has exceeded is July. So that's it. That's the final answer. Okay, so we'll write now my conclusion will be Sergeant's aggregate turnover has exceeded the threshold limit of 40 lakhs. Therefore, they are liable to register under GST from the month of July. That is it. The sum doesn't require any other calculation. We just have to find the register. Is the person liable to register or not? Okay, based on certain conditions. Okay, so these are the two types of sum which are usually asked from the exam point of view under GST. I hope both y'all have understood both the types of sum. Okay, so with that, uh, we'll be ending this video here.
stay tuned for further more videos which will be uploaded based on the subject goods and services or gst thank you